welcome back to our channel so today we will gonna discuss about helium pora also known as sun teacher so uh, helium pora is uh, uh, derived from the greek word helios amphora so helios means marsh and amphora means uh, vessel or feature so this pitcher plant from the they said they said from a southern continent is the only the only pitcher plant of the southern continent so it is found on uh, venezuela on the mountain uh, tapu or a tabletop mountain and the condition there is uh, a little bit rainy and the soil is a uh, low tds or low mineral soil so that's why this carnivorous tribe on those kind of environment but the big question is how can we uh, let's say uh, keep them alive or at, uh, at least uh, try to care for them in the environment that they are not used to be so in this area in our growing area you know that it, this is this area is really low humidity very windy and most of the time dry so what are we are doing here? We are using the live sphagnum moss as their uh, growing medium. Then the bottom part of the medium is just a sphagnum moss and for light, topped with a pure sphagnum moss. And we we uh, we also plant the live sphagnum moss all throughout the around the plant so that it will help them to lower the uh, temperature and increase the humidity. And during at night, and even if you touch it, the sphagnum moss is really, if you will, you will really feel the cooler temperature when it was uh, wet, or especially during at night. So even we don't have temperature drop in this area, we don't have snow. Still, this uh, setup is very useful. So. Uh, what we are also doing is uh, using water tray method but we don't use water tray, tray method as it is what we are doing is uh, simulating the natural environment on the Venezuela uh, tabletop mountain watering the plant on top or misting them so that the cool mist will uh, go down and seep all throughout their soil and also on the uh, uh, let's say uh, uh, tray then the tray will accumulate uh, water so that it will last for about a day or two so even if we don't water them for a day or two still they will survive but my suggestion this kind this time of year because it's very dry you need to water them once in the morning and once in the noon especially if you don't have live sphagnum moss with you i would suggest if you can water in more often and you you just acclimated them and it's new to their new uh growing area it's better if you will water them often so as you can see we have helium fora fuchella on the screen and also we also have other uh helium fora here like helium fora nutans the helium fora that was first named and also helium fora minor the most common helium fora on the community on our hobby so this helium fora especially helium fora puchella is a little bit slow so slow what a slow grower so this helium fora nutans in the other hand it's they are fast grower they grow taller than other uh, helium fora here in our collection but they need uh more humidity because they are grown on an in indoor environment and uh, this uh, helium fora helium fora minor is really i think it's the most easier helium fora to grow than the tree because uh, they just need at first if you are acclimating it you just need to put it on the shaded area put live or let's say pure sphagnum moss around the the plant and uh, i think it's better if you will cover it with plastic so that uh, you will uh, sustain or you will have a better 
uh, humidity in your uh, uh, growing uh, planter. So, and also don't forget to mist them regularly. I know it's really high maintenance and very tiring if you will do it all the time, but you choose to to take care or buy Heliophora. And I know it's a good uh, choice because they are beautiful. They are, sim they are simply beautiful. But the in return, you need to take care of them properly. You need to give them the proper care. And also, you need to know that this plant is very brittle. They said, some description said that this Heliumphora is like a, a ceramic base that really precious and brittle. If you touch it and you mistakenly put more pressure into it, that uh, those uh, part of Heliumphora will receive damage. And most of the time, the one that catch a uh, lure insect, no, the top, like a little head, the pin head on the top of Heliumphora, most of the time it was it will it will damage if you will not take good care of them. So just make sure that don't don't uh, touch them more uh, most more often and at, uh, and, and i suggest you put them in a very protective place like this one but if you are you have a growing uh, area like a, a greenhouse you don't need this it's, it is just that we're growing it in this uh, kind of environment which is a little bit uh, risky if you have this uh, precious plant because there's birds here because we have uh, grapes in this area and uh, but this what I have so I, w I need to at least make a step to care for them in my uh, situation so we have different situations so you need to think uh, outside the box so that you will uh, reinvent this kind of setup so first i i put the helium fora here but unfortunately some rats or other critters uh bite the plant and drag it down that's why i decided to put it on the cage again again because i'm also using cage method before and uh i think it's a good uh, investment if you buy a cage because uh sometimes we have this collection that is really let's say expensive so that uh, we can't risk to 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 lose those plants or to at least uh, make the other creatures in our growing area make our plants their dinner so uh, what else can i suggest on uh, helium for a care so make it simple. You need to use slime sphagnum. Uh, you need to use sphagnum moss and perlite as their growing medium. Don't play too much on that mix, but make sure you wash them properly. Don't put any chemicals, and uh, unless it is maxi, you can do. You can spray a low ppm. Uh, let's say low dosage of maxi around eighty ppm. But if you want to make it higher, just make sure that you put it on inside the teacher only so that you will not damage the sphagnumus around because if you mistakenly put a really high dosage of maxi even the teacher will not uh, tolerate it i tried it before and i didn't regret it because i learned from my mistake but i will not do it again maybe uh, the highest uh, uh, concentration of maxi i can give to my uh, uh, helium fora now will be 120 ppm and I will uh, make it higher if the plants are already used to it. When it comes to sunlight, they like the morning sunlight and the late afternoon sun. So you need to make a little uh, setup that they will be protected on the afternoon sun, the hot, the hottest temperature on the day, so that you will protect them from drying out. So, aside from us protecting them, giving them shade, I suggest you water them more often. I already uh, told you that, but I, I need to repeat it again because this is very important. And the other thing, if you want to propagate your Heliumphora, 
I suggest you watch the video about my uh, uh, previous video about helium for uh, uh, propagation because it's not that easy. <laughs> yes, it will be much easier if uh, you have a sta stable hand, a steady hand, but uh, even you have your most uh, steady hand, I think it's you will still uh, uh, crash <laughs> some roots and some pitcher along the way but at least you need to be very careful and i hope you learn from this video and if you need more uh information about growing these beautiful plants just let me know and i'm more than happy to answer you uh, your question oh god bless and uh bye bye <music>